Hello, welcome to Florian Models Kit View Time. Today we've got another Kitty Hawk kit. Today we've got, uh, well we've seen it before, but this is obviously the two seat version. We've got the 132nd scale. This is the uh, Tiger 2 F5F. Now before we have seen the single seat, to be honest, it had a few problems. Um, and some of them, obviously, I think is one of those things you just happens in manufacturing. And other things I think could have been done a little bit better. Be interesting to have a look in this particular kit and see if they've updated it at all, or if it is just the two seat version with a new front end on it. So, box art, have to say, absolutely lovely with the VFC triple uh, uh, one, or uh, 111, the Saints. Uh, very nice with the actual sundowner markings as well. Again, we had trouble before because this decal was back to front on the single seat version. So yeah, obviously a little bit of problem and it's got a shark's mouth on it. So that just wins it for me. So obviously it's the aggressor aircraft. But the two seat one has got some absolute stunning markings. I have to say, you know, generally this one would be my go-to, but after seeing that one and then the one with the eagle on as well, well, absolutely takes it to another level. Again, we've got a couple of crew figures and we've got a boarding ladder this time with this particular one. So your kit number for this one is KH32019. Okay. And on the other side, you can see some of the other ones down in there. So we've got some of the, obviously the aggressor markings down in here. We've got the Swiss ones, some other countries down in the bottom there as well. And we've got the Korean ones as well. So actually a lot of options in this particular kit. So in the box, we have we'll sit that'd be handy right um we do have to say that this actually is a pre-production shot uh hence the uh, instructions are a little bit all over the place for it uh, as we know john um gets these kits he test builds and things like that and then he's kind enough to give them to me to review as well so that's why we get this obviously you won't you'll get the proper version but um that explains whilst we got some printouts like that normally they will be included in the little booklet but because this is an early one uh it's obviously not in there yet so again instructions usual thing with Kitty Hawk's way of doing it. So we can see we get a little bit of photo etch down in here. Those decals we talked about before, they look absolutely stunning. And obviously your call outs, a little bit different. So we're straight in with the nose gear with this one. And again, just like the actual previous version, the single seat, we've got all nice detail for the actual forward gun bay in the nose there. So that's quite nice. Then it's into the cockpit, just like before, but obviously this time we're double stacked up with the cockpit, having two of those. So they're gonna just be one behind the other and then fitting those up and then they're gonna go in. Sidewall detail going down in there again with a little bit of photo etch just to add a little bit of scale effect in there as well okay and then it's just a case of putting it together so we've got the ray dome going down in there in the front okay and then obviously we've got the gun bay and then the two seats and that complicated uh system the actual way the canopy goes up we spoke about before okay and then you've got the front plates going on there hiding off the actual tops of the engine instrument panel combing going in over the top okay and then obviously you're probably not going to fit that just like that but obviously if you want to the doors for actually the gun bay being open and revealed canopy system going down in there forward and rear canopies being fitted in again showing the pilot figure going in there and obviously the actual uh, instructor in the back okay engines as we know full detailed engine on these a little bit basic but they're there for already for you to add a little bit more detail to it and then obviously into the main gear those are all being fitted down and placed into positions nozzles going in the end big difference between this one and the actual two seat and the single it looks like now that the single seat um, has comes with the resin one the two seat one looks like they've dropped it and obviously you now use the kit part ones in all honesty talking to john who's built a few of these he recommends just building those anyway because obviously the kit part ones are a lot easier to go together and when you're looking at the detail of them there's not a lot in it either okay so you can that's not a problem Main gear being fitted down into the wings. Again, separate poseable uh, flaps and ailerons with those ones as well. And it does have leading edge slats as well. All of those are poseable down on both types of it. Tailplane going down in there again. You've got a rudder as well if you wanted to deflect that. We've got wing fences being fitted down on there. Nose wheel, the antennas, lights, things like that all being fitted down underneath the bottom. Speed brake system being fitted in. Don't forget, at rest it does open itself up. So if you wanted to, you could have it deployed or closed. Okay, bay doors, pylons, things like that being fitted down into there. Weapons fit, again, if you're going down that route, some big old fuel tanks for it. We've got some snake eyes down in there and some the bombs and obviously a obligatory sidewinder and we've got even got a sparrow down on there as well so very nice little loadout on of those just in there okay then we've got these which again they are pre-production run this one so they are just paper pull outs but it'll give you an idea of them okay so we've got the ones down in here okay and i'm just trying to work out who's this one is uh, is that taiwanese markings i think so or malaysian markings sorry 
on that one just down in there. So that's very nice on those. And then we've got Korean ones down in there as well. South Korea. And then we've got the Swiss one as well on there as well. Very nice markings in there. And then we've got uh, the Saint's Aggressor one as well. Very nice navy one. And then we've got another one down on here as well. Very nice indeed. And then is this an Iranian one? Difficult in black and white. I think so. Yes. So we've got an Iranian F5 as well. F5F. Very nice indeed. And we've got a beautiful tiger one as well with the actual tiger stripes all over it. That's got to be a goer, isn't it? That's actually lovely. Really like that. Okay. Then next up, we've got another aggressor one. A sniper's one this time. Very, very nice indeed as well. That gorgeous black and uh, with the red star on the tail. That's got to be a winner as well. We've got another one as well in with the uh, aggressor roll as well. I think that's time we as well. And then... Last up, but no means these, the two really, really nice ones again. Very, very nice tail and tiger markings on that one. Or oh, we've got a beautiful one here with eagle markings on the back end as well. So again, some very, very nice jobs with those. Great colour callouts with them. And right here we have the decal sheets, which because they're in a zippy bag, it means I can get in and have a look. A huge load of decals. Now, one of the criticisms I had last time was... What it was, loose, there we go. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's why, okay, get it now, that's why they've done that. All right, so you might notice, we pointed out last time, that's fine, because AF, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, though, the numpties have done the usual when they printed it back to front. But, luckily for us, this time round, they've done a backup, because we have another one now with it the correct way round. So, we are now slightly... Uh, not a problem with this one. It has fixed the issue because again, it was always the trouble that technically you've got here This is the starboard side And then you've got another starboard side and there was no port side to it So that was always your, your issue with this one But now we do have a port one on there because again, yes, there's that gorgeous tail Looking absolutely lovely down in there as well and the Iranian ones I have to say they all look very very nice maybe a little bit thick, but they're a good solid color So actually that's not a problem at all and then we've got Amazingly gorgeous ones down in here. So we've got those fantastic uh, Tiger markings down in there and then we've got this one over here I said with the the head So yes, they've actually that's why they've had to redo that one completely and then in here, oh god, I hate peeling these off just in case it takes something with it. Okay, again, those look absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful work. I'm sold. They are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and then obviously we've got a little bit of photo etch, which does draw the question, where's the other one? Because we've only got one set of harnesses, one set of mirrors, and one set of rails. So you would think, oh no, two. So we do have... Uh, Ford and Rios one but we've only got one set of harnesses so that is your problem here if you wanted it without the pilots in it you only get one set of harnesses so that is a little bit of a problem if you got the pilot seated and I assume that's what they're going for because there's already one pilot inside the cockpit the other one's climbing up so I think maybe that's the reason they've gone that way or did they just forget to put in another set okay we'll clear that up afterwards okay Right, so this is the pilot figures, and I have to say that looks really nice. Oh, he's actually still sealed. Let me just pop a blade in here. On there. On there. And actually, these are beautifully done. Very, very nice indeed. They actually do carry their chutes on these. They're not in the seat like uh, a lot of modern jets. So actually that's very, very nicely done. That's great. Okay, so we've got him and we've got the pilot with his visor down as well. Some nice job on that one again. Really very, very nicely detailed. Looking really, really nice on those. And then obviously we get boarding ladder, front and rear, and obviously we've got this strafe down there as well okay 
So that's actually very, very nice little touch with that. Again, I said it before, it's great to have these little extras like the pilot figures for this one in 30 seconds. Absolutely a no-brainer with those ones. Right. Okay, so we're imagining that some of these parts are going to be just the same as the other ones because obviously it's only the front end that's the difference. So the main body of it, like this bit, we're assuming is just the same as last time, which it is. So we have the same problem, which isn't a mass problem because as I said before, a couple of swipes with a standing stick will take care of this one, okay? But the thing is, when we were, we were looking around it before, we did notice we've got a tooling mark Hopefully you can see it, it's running just down in here. And again, it's not a problem because a couple of swipes at a good angle with that one with a good quality sanding stick, like one of these, is perfect for it. So literally you just go along with the hard side, switch to the soft side onto it, and then just blend it and you'll leave not a mark in there. But unfortunately, it's a little bit of a, a problem. You can probably see it running right down in here and then it carries on, but it, it peters off down at the bottom. Okay, and it's the same story on this side as well. It just runs along here and around. So this is the same sprue. Um, and it, in fact, it does say it here, F5E at the top, all right? So generally, we just have to have another quick whip round it because it is still really nice. So you've got the blowing doors on the side for the auxiliary intakes during startup, if you were doing that. Okay, there's that spine. Some very nice details on that one. And the underside is looking absolutely lovely. Some really beautiful details underneath that. No problem at all. But really even just the gear doors and the panels inside, the speed brakes, things like that. Very, very nice level of detail in with all of those. So that's very nice. Okay, the new sprue, which is this one, which has obviously got our new front end. Okay, I can get him. Okay, so new sprue. This one here has obviously got that entire front end. And again, it has got a little bit of a lippy lip, but it's not as bad as the other ones running right the way down here. You can probably see it. It's just where the mole comes in from this side and then obviously from this side to come in. There is a little bit of flash running around it as well, but generally I don't think that's a problem. It's got that longer nose now for the two seat configuration. Actually doesn't look as if it's going to be a problem. It's pretty much an easy cleanup with that one. Generally having a quick run around it, as you can see down in here, we've got the cockpit sides, you've got the instrument panels. The actual tubs don't look too bad at all. They're actually looking quite nice on those. And then obviously the other parts as we make our way around, you can see. It's pretty much devoid of everything on the inside, but it is nice to note that we actually got the gun bay doesn't have any ejector pins at all on the inside. Again, kudos to them. That's quite a nice touch with that one. So yes, generally, very, very nice indeed. Okay, clear parts we'll have a look at in a moment. So, <clears throat> we've seen this one as well before, but we will take the time to have a look, just in case you haven't seen the other review. So, down on here we've got the tailplane, uh, the actual uh, rudder and everything else. It is a, a two-piece uh, two system on here. So you've got the one side and then you flip over, then you've got the insert for the underside just down in here. It is a position of all if you wanted to, just to remove the tabs a little bit to give it a different rudder, sort of deflection, things like that. Okay, but you've got the wheels again, looking quite nice, weight on wheels as well. So you've got a little bit of a flat spot on those. The gear, again, looks quite nice and beefy, no problems with that at all. And generally looking round, I actually quite like the detail on these ones. It's a good, good start on these. Again, the big old fuel tank underneath there as well with the sway braces at the end, very nicely molded, no problem at all. Then we get this little guy just down in here, which is a match pair left and right, because obviously there's a lot of dukes. So as you might imagine on this particular sprue, We've got, as you can see, the actual engines, we've got the fuel tanks, we've got sparrows, anything to dupe down here in here we can see. And again, it's quite nice. We said about these nozzles before, got a little bit of flash on this one, but a quick swipe with a sanding stick takes care of those. Some nice detail as well uh, down in there with the afterburner ring on the actual back end of the engine there. Again, the engine, although it's not detailed and you don't see it, you could do a lot with it. We've got the pylons. The fuel tanks, those cluster bombs, okay. And then we've got the inlet, compressor blades, things like that. We've got sparrows. We've got a couple of snake guys down on there. We've got the main gear wheels, again, weight on wheels, things like that, as you'd expect. The back of the seat uh, and the side of the ejection seat and everything else. And again, some very, very nice details on these. Good, clean molding, 
just a little bit of flash here and there and everything, but at least we haven't got any big stress marks and sink marks and things like that. So that particular screw, you obviously get two, okay, because it's a match pair. Last up for the main ones, again, we've seen this one before because it's the same wings. Okay, so down in here, as you can see, we've got the actual gear, the underside of the wings, top side of the wings, things like that. And the same thing again, we've got the fences for the, the wing section. The slats again, one piece molded, very nice indeed. No sink mark on that one again. Main sort of gear, uh, wheel well entry into the underside of the wing. Very nice riveted detail as you can see on those. And the gear is very, very nicely done. Tops of those wings again, very nice details. You can see it shining through there as we make our way out for the other side. No problems with any of those. Again, generally, I have to say, it looks to be a really nice kit. I haven't built this particular kit. John has, though, and assures me, with a little bit of TLC, it goes together with no real problems at all. Just dry fit in usual things. Just make sure you're all okay with it. Big old clear parts you can see down in here. A little bit wibbly wobbly, but again, uh, yeah, it's a shame that they're not as clear as you might have hoped. And this one, to be honest, has got a little bit of a rub mark on the top, but actually at least it is all here. Okay, uh, we don't have any centre seam onto it. Obviously the forward windscreen isn't too bad at all for the front one and the other parts down on here. So yeah, I have to say, looking pretty nice. So there we go, that is the F5F, the two seat version of the Tiger. Looks to be very nice. We're seeing the same things as we had before. So we've got that little bit of line, couple of swipes of the sanding stick is not a problem to take out those marks. But generally, again, we're not seeing any stress marks. We're not seeing any big ejector pins into it or anything else like that. So actually, I think, again, we're going definitely in the right direction. And if you do want a 30 second uh, Tiger 2, let's face it, your other option is the Hasegawa one, which is raised panel lines and is like a million years old now, really showing its age. So actually, it's really nice to see we got this one on. Other thing as well, at least they've corrected the fault with the decals because obviously there's a little bit of a printing issue in there, but you do get those with no problems at all on there, all right? The only thing is, one set of harnesses, what's that all about?